What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the wood shop. All right, so recently in the last few videos where I've been wearing my work vest, we've been getting a bunch of comments saying, where'd you get that work vest? How can I get one of those? Well, I made it. And I wanted to go over with you a bunch of the details about what I really like about the vest and some of the things that I don't and how I wanna change it on the next one that I build. Come check it out. So I've posted a couple other leatherworking videos, one of them being the sheath for the timber frame chisel that we restored. I started leatherworking just a couple years ago, actually right after our daughter was born. My wife and I were spending a bunch of time at home and I am so ADD that I constantly feel like I have to be building something or figuring something out. I picked up leatherworking because it's been a, like a, a several year obsession of mine looking at different leather workers and, and seeing the products that people make. And, and I always just want to figure out how to build anything I can for myself. So I started leatherworking, making some wallets, making some stuff for my wife, gifts for friends. And of course, one of the things that I always wanted to do was build my own tool vest. And this is the first go at trying this thing out. Uh, and I spent a bunch of time on it. And I have used this now all, you know, for the last year. I got a lot of things I really like about it and a few things that I really don't like about it and how I want to improve the next variation. Just to be clear, you can totally make your own tool vest. It is not out of reach and it's totally doable with a few pretty low dollar entry level leatherworking tools. Some leather that you might find either on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. You can also buy it new. So there's a lot of stuff out there that you can, you know, get for pretty cheap. So this is a quick overview. This is 10 ounce vegetable tan leather. And I just kind of started cutting the vest away to fit to my body type till I got something that I felt like worked and fit pretty well. And that's really the chassis that everything else is built on. I knew that I wanted to have the vest be open at the bottom so I could, you know, bend down, you know, move around. I didn't want it to impede mobility. And I wanted to have a chest clasp up here. And I wanted to have nice, heavy, thick suspenders. So what I got is I actually got logging suspenders. And I stitched these on with some leather loops here crisscrossed them down into the back so the whole thing fit up really nice and as you can see it's got a lot of good suspension super easy to move around in and it, is, it allows kind of all the weight to be you know suspended off your shoulders I was going around the vest and how I have this thing set up first up on my right side chest I got a spot for my exacto knife Having this really close by and easy to grab is super essential. I'm using this for all the thing, you know, all, all sorts of different things. And we got uh, a couple spots for marking devices, pencils, pens, yada, yada, yada. Down here on the right, I made this hammer loop and I riveted it on either side so I could have a spot for a cat's paw to slide in and out. So super simple brass or rather copper rivets here on this just leather strap, cat's paw right here. Just kind of to the right of that, I got one of my favorite jack planes that I use all the time on all sorts of stuff. Knocking down edges, taking uh, you know glue down on, on glue ups. And then right behind that, I got just a set of dikes right here. These snips work really, really well. And having this all right here is super comfortable and really easy to access for a multitude of different things. Then there on my back right hip, I got just a spot for a tape measure. Obviously you have to have that in reach. I'm a right-handed person, so I have it on my right side. That kind of completes the, you know, the majority of how I have the right side set up here. Tool, cat's paw, or sorry, hammer, cat's paw, jack plane, snips, and uh, tape measure. Over here on the left side, I got a holster for one of my favorite chisels, one that I use all the time. It slides in, super simple, really easy. And then just to the, to the left of that, I have just the whole hardware pouch. Obviously you have nails, screws, whatever you're using at the time. Right now I actually just have a uh, chalk line in there because we've been snapping some lines, doing some general construction around the, you know, around the shop here. And then right behind that, I just have two slots and they fit a uh, combination square super well in there. Also you could fit, you know, a speed square in right behind it if you wanted to. But I most oftentimes have just this uh, combination square in there. 
So it's super functional and really pretty basic. Obviously I have just the bare necessities of what I use all the time in the shop. And when we're doing general construction, like you've seen in some of our videos, upstairs in the retail space, over in the restaurant space that we're working on, I'm using kind of more of a general construction setup in the shop. Usually I don't have a framing hammer in my pocket here. So usually it's just a little bit more slimmed down. So here's some of the cons. Here's some of the things that I wish I did differently and uh, what I'm gonna do on the next vest that I make. I wish that I had made the lower section kind of more like a belt where I could slide stuff or adjust it a little bit more because I kind of found it as I was building this, I wish that my hammer slot was just a little bit farther over to the right. When I'm working, it kind of gets down straight in front of my leg. See the cat's paw here, it actually goes inside my leg. And the chisel here also kind of goes inside. So sometimes when I'm bending over, you see how this like is catching right here. I wish that I had just kind of reconfigured it a little bit more. And to be honest, I actually wish I had stuff a little bit higher. So I have kind of some new geometry I want to fit into the new vest that I make. But all in all, having a vest like this, I prefer way more than a tool belt style, uh, you know, tool vest. I don't like having anything around my waist and I feel like anytime I'm moving or bending over to pick stuff up, when I have stuff out in front or specifically around my waist, I always feel like it's like pulling my pants down or, or doing something weird. I, I just way more prefer a vest style. It also is more comfortable, at least for me, to suspend most of the weight off my shoulders as opposed to my hips. I find that it's easier to climb ladders with this because I can move my knees around. Uh, I just find it overall a lot more comfortable. Few more of the cons is I wish I had done a little bit better job of securing the bottom connections of the suspenders here. These kind of rotate sideways and get kind of jacked up. As you can see, this one is like all the way sideways. It just kind of messes up how it feels and I'm constantly readjusting it. Really, realistically, it's not that difficult of a fix. I could totally just push this thing back in here, cut these out, make a larger uh, kind of connection system, but you know, I'm gonna wait until I build a brand new vest for it. I'm gonna post some links in the description down below to some of the tools that I used while building this tool vest. You guys, it's super simple and for less than probably $50 worth of leatherworking tools, I've been able to make wallets and I made my wife a, a shoulder bag. I've done, um, you know, cool clutches and purses for friends of ours. We've made camera straps. And then obviously I've made something like this. So super low cost investment to be able to do a lot of really awesome things for yourself. So like I said, down below in the description, I'm gonna post some individual links to some of the tools that I've used. Make sure you go and check out that leather sheath video for the timber frame chisel because there's a lot more leather working and some of the tools that I use for this same exact ones were in that video. So you guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have some comments on what you think I should do for that next uh, work vest, make sure you leave a comment down below. If there's something that maybe you've made a work vest or, or something that you really like, make sure you leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you guys on the next one.